Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite Sniper Rifle. I've had over hundreds of requests to do this for a video and really break down what is wrong with this weapon. On a fundamental level, it is the worst Halo Sniper Rifle that has been in the series, so I thought I'd break it down and actually explain why this is. The Sniper Rifle in every Halo game has been a true power weapon, and if you could actually master it, you can totally change the outcome of a game, and it looks damn cool when you do it. So let's jump into the video. Now Standard Ace did a video about no scoping with the Halo Infinite Sniper Rifle and it shows that there's no aim assist while no scoping and I left my thoughts actually explaining what I didn't like about the weapon. So I figured I could read out my comment that I left because it got pinned because it gives you a really good idea of what is wrong with the weapon. So I go on to say I don't mind them making the gun harder to use with less aim assist and to require more precision. The Halo 5 sniper rifle was way too easy to use and even on MCC on PC with the extra frame rate, it was very easy to use. So having it require more precision is a good thing. The problem is the other things they've added in conjunction with this make it almost redundant. The first thing that was changed was the actual ammo count. To prevent players from going on big tears with the sniper rifle, the ammo count was reduced from 12 bullets down to 8 bullets. Might not seem like a big change, but if you're not hitting straight headshots because it's that much harder to use, it's a very big difference on the influence this gun can have on the game. When you actually zoom in with a sniper rifle, the magnification is slightly more on the first zoom level when compared to other Halo titles. You might think, well Remy, I just won't use the scope then and I'll just no scope them. And that works, probably 85 to 90% of the time, but because they've implemented a randomized balloon mechanic, which I'll talk more about in a little bit, no scoping is inconsistent too. They make the bullet travel time extremely slow, so it doesn't work at range, which means it's not really a sniper rifle. Upon re-zooming of the sniper rifle, if you're in the second zoom, which is the more zoomed in magnification, you press Y to switch weapons. Upon re-zooming, it will be back at that second magnification. This is extremely jarring because it throws off your depth perception and makes it much harder to use. The next thing that has been changed is the way the sniper rifle actually zooms in. In every past Halo game, if you press the zoom button, it'll slowly zoom in, not instantly snap to how you zoom in. And even that feels jarring. I'm not sure if that's because mechanically, the weapon feels very stiff. It's like every single movement feels jarring with the weapon. That could just straight up come down to the game wasn't finished at launch, so refinements to the sniper rifle just weren't on the high list of priorities of things to get refined before launch. And I'll put examples up on screen so you guys can see it for yourself. The sniper rifle has inbuilt randomized bloom. And they say it's been in every single Halo game, but the reality of the situation is it is much worse on Halo Infinite. The hit registration just isn't up to par. You need an adequate amount of range so the bullet should land and it just doesn't. And the inbuilt randomized bloom, even though it should at least do some sort of damage, it just straight up doesn't. My final two dot points, one, it's removed from every single map. And even when it does appear on a map now, it shares a pad with a skewer an anti-vehicle weapon, and I just think they should have separate pads, one to take out vehicles, one to take out infantry. And finally, this is the big dot point, to make it feel worse than older Halo games. Now I've played Halo since 2001. I have played Halo Combat Evolved on 15 FPS, terrible input delay, and I would prefer to use that over the Halo Infinite Sniper Rifle. And yet I could lead accurately with that Sniper Rifle better than Halo Infinite's. That's how bad it is. And then underneath, I just add in, and this is a very valid point, the shock rifle, which isn't a power weapon, infinitely better than the Halo Infinite sniper rifle. And you guys have probably seen that from my clips. There is plenty of shock rifles on the map. You can cross map with it very easily. It EMPs vehicles, and the electrical damage when you shoot them in the body can kill surrounding enemies. Not only that, but the shock rifle comes with more base ammo equivalent to the older Halo sniper rifles there's really no reason to pick up the Halo Infinite Sniper Rifle. There's even aim assist on the shock rifle when no scoping to make it easier to land your shots, whereas the Halo Infinite Sniper Rifle, which is a power weapon, has nothing, absolutely nothing. I haven't even spoken about the glare. The glare is so bad, it will actually glow through trees, not even obstructed by the leaves themselves. It's so bad that if you're trying to counter snipe someone and you both have snipers, you can't even tell where to aim because it's so bright. You just have to guess where their head is and hope that it hits them. And I've been saying that from the start of the game. There's so many things wrong with this gun. 
fundamentally that just shouldn't be happening. I don't understand why these decisions were made other than they wanted the gun to be absolutely useless. But then there's another gun that fits that exact role that is even more powerful. It doesn't make sense. So I hope it is fixed. So there you have it guys, that is Halo Infinite's sniper rifle. I would fix the gun by increasing the bullet speed so you don't have to lead as much, improving the hit registration, remove the sniper glare, or at least make it a lot less, and increase the bullets that are in the gun from eight to 12. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know you guys will have a lot to say about this. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys 